This video will demonstrate how to use headings from the Styles menu in Microsoft Word 2013 to easily create clickable navigation within a document. In addition, using headings will allow a user to easily assemble and update a table of contents for that document. This is especially helpful for any student writing a dissertation, thesis, or other long document. First, let's show the navigation pane so that we can see the changes we make happening in real time. To do that, click the View menu in the ribbon and then choose the navigation pane in the show group. You can see the navigation pane flies in on the left hand side of the screen. We'll be able to see changes that we make as we update this navigation pane. Next we need to format our headings so that they look exactly how we want them to look. To do that we simply scroll through the document and find one of the headings we wish to format. At the beginning of the document here we have both a heading 1 and a heading 2 which we will eventually use. So let's grab our main heading here which will be heading 1 and let's format it exactly how we want it to look. In this case we're going to use Times New Roman font at 12 point and bold. Now that our heading 1 is formatted we simply right click the Heading 1 selection in the Styles group of the Home tab of the ribbon and select Update Heading 1 to match selection. You can see that the text in the heading formats a different way and now our Heading 1 is formatted. In the same way, let's grab our subheading here or Heading 2, format it the way we wish, which is going to be very nearly the same. We'll take Times New Roman at 12 point font, but we'll leave off the bold for this one. Now that that's formatted, we right click Heading 2 and Update Heading 2 to match selection. Now that our heading styles are formatted, I'll go in and apply those styles to the appropriate headings in the document. We'll scroll down here to find another heading. There's a Form A. Left click on Heading 2 and the formatting is updated. I'll do the rest off camera to save time. Okay. Now, as you can see in the navigation pane, I've applied the Heading 1 style to each person's journal label and a Heading 2 style to each entry within the journals. As I mentioned before, it's very easy to navigate through a long document using the navigation pane. For example, I'm near the end of the document but if I wanted to quickly navigate back to the beginning I could just select my first H1 Jonathan Harker's journal left click it and it takes me right back to the beginning of the document this is part of what makes navigation so excellent and helpful in Microsoft Word because you can quickly navigate through the sections of a long paper now that you know how to create navigation in a document, be sure to check out our video on creating a table of contents within that document. Once your navigation is set, the table of contents is a breeze. Before I end, I'd like to mention that IT Training offers a full course in formatting a dissertation or thesis in Microsoft Word, as well as courses in other software for all students and staff. If you're interested in learning more, log on to training.missouri.edu today and register for a class.